Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back in my kitchen, of course. Today I'm starting this video a day early. I wanted to film tomorrow, but, which, oh, my dog wants to come in, hold on. All right, so starting this video a day early, I wanted to start tomorrow and I'm gonna to film tomorrow's workout of a pull workout. I'm gonna film the entire thing. And I wanted to film kind of like my morning routine because I've been having like this crazy, it's not crazy, but for me it's crazy because I don't have a routine ever in the morning. But I have a morning routine that I've been doing for like, I'm in it now and I've been loving it and it makes me feel so structured and so put together. So I wanted to show you guys that. So that's gonna be tomorrow, but today I wanted to try to make Greg Doucette's protein blueberry muffins. So I figured I would film it for you guys. So I'm not a baker. I don't bake a lot, really ever. I cook a lot, but I cook the same things all the time. So these might come out good, they might come out terrible, but I wanted to film it for you guys. So I hope you are ready to watch me bake something. All right, so the oven is preheating to 325. If you guys hear my dog in the background, she's doing something. I don't normally look this like crusty, but I did not think that I was gonna be filming today. So. This is what I look like. So yeah, I'm just gonna start. I need my egg whites. So it says to mix all the wet ingredients together first. So let me see. I need 250 grams of unsweetened applesauce. One hundred and seventy-five grams of Greek yogurt. One All right, so now I have all of our wet ingredients in this bowl, I think. Let me look at the instructions, hold on. Now I have all of the wet stuff in this bowl. I have to mix this all together and then in a separate bowl, I have to do all the dry stuff. So I'm using the Pea Science Select Gourmet Vanilla Protein for this. We need 68 grams. As I just spill it everywhere. Now the recipe calls for oat flour, but I don't have oat flour, so this is what we're going with, just regular ass flour. Love these swerve, zero calorie sweetener. I need a fourth of a cup of this. A one fourth cup of sweetener. I only have a little like one eighth, so I do. Now I'm gonna weigh that out because it's fine. And I'm real sweet. All right, so now I have both bowls wet and dry and I have to mix them together. Hopefully, I'm hoping this comes out correctly. Like I'm following the, the recipe to a T, but knowing me, like something could definitely still go wrong somehow, so. All right, I need 270 grams of blueberries. Fresh blueberries. I feel like this is gonna make way more than I thought. I don't have a muffin tin, I have like a cupcake tin. So, I guess that's what we're using. They're gonna be smaller than what they should be, or what like Greg's himself would be. All right, now I have to spray this. Makes me nervous because, ew, there's legitimately hair in here. What the fuck? It makes me very nervous to not have like the little cupcake holders in here because if they stick, I'm gonna kill myself but it's fine. It's going to be fine. All 
right guys, so here we have it. Our blueberry protein muffins going into the oven. If these don't come out good, I'm gonna cry. All right guys, here is the final product. They look and smell amazing and I cannot wait to try them. I'll let you guys know what I think. They definitely grew a lot more than I thought, but again, my tin is too small. So if you take the total calories for the whole batch and divide it by 12, because we have 12 here, they're about 130 calories each. All right guys, it is the next morning. I am still in the clothes I slept in, don't mind me. I am also trying not to use any heat on my hair for, I don't know how long, but this is just my natural hair with no heat. So if I look a little crazy, that's why. So the last thing you saw was me making these blueberry muffins. I didn't try them on camera, but I did try them and they were actually really, really good. And for only about 130 calories a piece, can't go wrong with these but i wanted to show you guys like my whole morning routine today and i, I don't know if you could tell the lighting is terrible in here it is raining and i wake up at 7 a.m and the sun is not up and i have no good lighting in my house so i didn't but i feel like now i'll kind of walk you guys through it but before i do that Oh, I threw it out. <laughs> Before I do that, I'm just gonna go make my gut drink. I always have this every single morning before any food or anything. So, I mean, if you guys follow me, even on here, I've made it on this channel before. If you follow me on Instagram, you see I make this all the time, but I'll take you through it. All right, guys, so for my gut drink, I use, I just got a brand new one of this yesterday because I ran out but the GI from Revive. Oh, I hate opening these things. These like freak me out, these little paper things, like the texture of it just freaks me out. I don't like it. Let me find the scoop. Isn't it the worst when you open up a new supplement and the scoop is all the way at the bottom and then you have to like stick your whole freaking hand in there? But it's fine, it's fine. All right, so GI. From Revive, I do one scoop of that. And then I do, I have maybe like a half a scoop left of this, but this is the glutamine I just reordered, so it should be here soon, hopefully. I'm not even gonna use the scoop. And that's all I have left of that. And then, I put in a half a scoop of whey from Jack Factory. I really just do this for taste, truthfully. Whew. Running out of this too. This is my favorite chocolate protein I've ever had in my life. It's so good. And I just actually placed another order for this one because she's just about empty. And then again, just for taste, I always mix with almond milk. I can't, I can't mix it with water. It just freaks me out. I don't like it. I like almond milk. I don't really weigh it out. Almond milk is like 15 calories for like an entire cup, so I don't really care. And honestly, it tastes really good. It just tastes like chocolate milk, and I drink this every single day. It's just... Shake it up. So yeah, guys, I drink this pretty much every single... No, not even pretty much. I religiously drink this every single day, and my gut health has just been top tier. Like, has been really, really good. I've never had digestive issues until after prep. I had like, honestly, like very, not like crazy, but I definitely had some digestive issues after my show. And this stuff, after like two days of using it, I just dropped the garbage can lid. But after like two days of using it, my digestion was like completely normal. So, loving it. All right guys, so since I couldn't like show you like me doing my morning routine because of the lighting and whatever, I figured I would kind of just like walk you through what I do every morning because I've like kind of established this little routine for myself that I've been really liking and it just sets me up, man. It just makes me feel productive. And if you hear the dogs barking, sorry, I have no control over them. But I'm gonna turn you around. So my, my room is kind of like a prison room at the moment. I have nothing on the windows because we kind of sort of recently just redid it 
and I haven't had a chance or motivation to put anything on the windows. But here's where I sleep, sleep with my dog every night. So I put my phone, I charge my phone on the windowsill so I don't have it in the bed with me because I find that I sleep better when I put my phone on the windowsill. But I wake up every morning and don't mind the horrible sheets. My good sheets are in the wash. This is all I have right now. But it's my little table with all of my stuff on it, which I love. I love this little table. I love these two pictures that I have. But I wake up every day and I read for at least 20 minutes. I just finished this book today. Guys, this is one of the best books I have ever read. If you are looking to like build good habits, such as a morning routine like this one, then definitely would recommend reading this book. I'm not even pointing at it. <laughs> definitely would recommend this book. It was really, really good. And now I have to find something else to read every morning. But here's my mirror. This is also a little quick little physique update moment. This is what we're looking like. This morning I weighed in at 131.7. Oh my, my hair looks so interesting. But yeah, this is definitely the leanest I've been at this weight at 130, 131. Not mad about it. This lighting is like kind of black, but yeah, definitely, definitely don't have the abs like I did. You know, still a little noticeable, but definitely not like they were. That's okay. We're growing. I'm focused on growing and eating well and just following my protocol, putting on as much quality muscle as I can. But yeah, so after I wake up, I read for 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes, sometimes more. Today I read for almost an hour because I wanted to finish that book. And then I go, I'm not gonna show you the other room, but I have a spare room in my house that I kind of turned into a closet. So I've been using that room like to get ready and everything. So I'll go in there before I even read, I'll go in there. So I wake up, go in there, weigh myself. And I put on my wall, I post it on my Instagram, but I put like all these little sticky notes of goals that I want to accomplish this year, this, this year. And I put it right like where I weigh myself. So I step on the scale and I'm forced to look at it and I'm forced to accomplish it. And so I weigh myself, then I take all of my supplements, which I might do um, a separate video on what supplements I'm taking because my supplement routine has changed a lot. So I take all my supplements and then I sit and I read for 20 minutes and then I do schoolwork. So all of my classes are online right now. Well, right now it's like the winter, winter, you know, semester. My arm's getting tired. So for the winter semester, I'm only taking one class, which is online. But for my spring semester, next semester, all of my classes are online, so it's gonna be great. I'm gonna wake up early, dedicate that time to schoolwork, which I already did. And yeah, now I just got ready. I'm about to go to the gym, about to film it for you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna go make my pre-workout meal, which is the same every single day, 60 grams of oats, scoop of protein, and some frozen strawberries. I'll show you when I make it. All right guys, while my oats are cooking, I'm gonna put together my pre-workout, or my kind of pre-workout, kind of intra-workout. I always take my creatine either pre-workout or during my workout. And I've been using Pump Surge from Jack Factory every single day. This is what I mix in with my water. Like this is my pink drink every day that I post about. And then my actual pre-workout, I usually dry scoop once I get to the gym. And we have my oats. I do a scoop of the unfinished protein. I change up my protein all the time, like between this one, the chocolate one. I have a million, I have too many things of protein in my house, but I do a scoop of that. More than one. All right, so this is my pre-workout meal, 60 grams of oats, a scoop of protein, and some berries. I'm gonna eat this, and I'm gonna take my ass to the gym. Hey guys, just pulled up to the gym. The only bad thing about this new microphone uh, is that it covers up the viewfinder, so I guess it's good because it kind of forces me to look at the lens and not the viewfinder, but also 
I can't even tell if I'm in the shot right now, which is fine, whatever. Drinking my little pink drink, about to go hit a pull workout. Gonna film it all for you guys. In the future, I wanna start trying to get someone to film for me so I can kind of talk you through workouts. Um, I would feel less uncomfortable talking to a camera like with someone holding it than I would talking to a camera on a tripod. Like at least if someone's there to do it with me, I'll feel a little less weird about it. But like I already don't care about filming, but talking to the camera in public is kind of like a new, a new level for me, which I'm not quite there yet, which is fine. But yeah, this is what my hair is gonna look like today because that's just it. Got a good workout on the menu. We've got some deadlifts, stuff like that. It is 9.35. Let's get it.
Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I just filmed the entire outro and realized I didn't turn the microphone on, which is something that I need to get into the habit of doing. But I just finished my whole training session and it felt amazing. It was a great session, really pushed myself. The intensity I feel like was there. I'm feeling so good after the holidays, now just being on a strict routine. My meals, everything is just in check, cardio, lifts, all of that. It's just feeling really, really good and I'm happy that the holidays are over. All that pressure to go out and drink, eat, whatever is all gone for me. Uh, I get one cheat meal a week, which I'm very satisfied with. Don't really need it anymore. Feeling good. This is like the leanest I've been at this weight. This morning I weighed myself, I was like 131.7, 1, which is about 12, no, about, 13, 14 pounds up from stage weight. Still feeling really good. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna really put my foot down and try to film at least one video a week. And even if it's just training, because I know you guys wanna see a lot more of my training and nutrition and all that. Even though I feel like it's kind of boring because it's like the same all the time, my training and nutrition, but that's how you see results. That's what you guys wanna see from me. And yeah, I'm about to go do my cardio. So if you guys like this video, please go like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.